Honda HRC's Jed Lawrence and Hunter Lawrence both made intriguing debuts in the Supercross 450 this weekend at Paris Supercross. In the final race of the day in the 450 class, Jed experienced a challenging start. While Ken Roxanne took an early lead, Jed and his determination. The third and final main event saw Jed get kicked in the whoops and be unable to stop in time which led to him center punching Hunter and knocking him down. Jed even slowed up afterwards and was like my bad. It was quite comical and maybe a glimpse into something we're going to see in 2024. Afterwards Hunter wasn't upset and said that even though he hadn't watched the film, he took Jed at his word that he just wasn't able to stop on time. A dominant performance from Jed Lawrence saw him crown the 2023 King of Paris Supercross on Sunday, leading brother Hunter Lawrence in a 1-2 result as Joe Shimoda earned the SX2 class overall in his first showing with Team Honda HRC. Lawrence delivered a perfect 1-1-1 scorecard on Saturday and backed it up with 2-2-1 finishes on Sunday to capture the event victory with a comfortable buffer. Impressing in his first competitive outing in the 450 class, Hunter Lawrence made his brother work for some race victories, grabbing a win himself in race one on Sunday as he took second overall in Paris with 2-2-6, 1-3-3 results. Notably, Jed made a move on Hunter that brought the latter down in the final encounter. From their first appearance at the Paris Supercross, Joe Shimoda and Jed Lawrence put their name on the list of winners of the event, which celebrated its 40th anniversary this year. During two evenings, the public filled in the Paris La Defense Arena to attend an XXL show. If Paris had already crowned an Australian rider in 2007 in the person of Chad Reed, never before a Japanese rider won in Paris. Dominating the SX2 category during both nights, Joe Shimoda became the Prince of Paris this weekend, while Australian Jed Lawrence became the 28th King of Paris.